Yikes. We turned out a Greco-Roman wrestling in the final of the men's heavyweight division. The overwhelming favorite is the guy you just saw, Russian Alexander Karelin. These are the numbers. Olympic gold medals, three. World titles, nine. Career losses in international competition, zero, since debuting in 1987. But those don't tell a ruble's worth of this story. Karelin weighed 15 pounds upon birth, and imposing has been his middle name ever since. He comes to the land down under from the forbidding and vast Russian region of Siberia, perhaps the most feared athlete in Olympic history. Karelin is a chiseled figure of muscle and might who seems more fit for a comic strip than reality. He is at once Hercules in his strength and in his intimidating powers, like Medusa, the Gorgon who would turn men into stone. And in the case of Karelin, we're talking about gifted grapplers uncommonly large. You may recall four years ago in Atlanta when his final victim, American Matt Gaffari, was reduced to tears, although emotion played a part in that. Here now, in his own words, the 33-year-old Siberian strongman. Do you need a reason to fear me? I fight for my beloved Russia. I haven't lost a match in 13 years. Champion olympique et médaille d'or représentant la Fédération de Russie. Alexander Katerin of the Soviet Union, Olympic champion and gold medalist. Alexander Karelin, the Federation of Russia. Three Olympics, three gold medals, nine world championships. My soul, complicated and fierce, is pure Russian. Wrestling is a struggle of titans. I believe wrestling is poetry. I'm waiting for the one man who can bring me down. Wrestling is how I express myself. Some say I have lost my fire. Some say my country is weak. But look at my victories and see my country's tradition. Feel Russia's power. It is me. So you've met Goliath, and now, in a sense, here's David. He's 29-year-old Rulon Gardner, a two-time U.S. champion, making his Olympic debut. The youngest of nine children, Gardner was raised on a dairy farm in Afton, Wyoming, where he learned the value of hard work. As a child, he'd milk cows, change irrigation pipes, haul hay. For fun, he wrestled with an older brother. He also was an all-state defensive tackle and excelled at the shot put. A graduate of Nebraska, he's worked as a middle school teacher. Much of Gardner's family including his wife Stacy, is here with him in Sydney thanks to donations and fundraising endeavors. Neighbors are tending to the gardener's barley harvest so the family can be here to support Rulon in his attempt to dethrone the king. Gardner has faced Corellan once before, losing badly at the 97 World Championships, 5 to nothing, where he was a victim of the Russians' trademark reverse body lift. The Sydney Exhibition Center in Darling Harbor, a venue of choice for this event, Henry Kissinger and Juan Antonio Samaranch among those in attendance. Also, two-time freestyle wrestling gold medalist Bruce Baumgartner and Sydney silver medalist Matt Lindland. Now there's Corellan, the fourth Olympian, at least he's trying to become the fourth Olympian, to win the same individual event four times. Vocal support from Gardner's family, and now for the introductions. The finalist of the medaille d'or, 130 kilos, in rouge. Ladies and gentlemen, our competitor for the gold medal in the red at 130 kilos from the Russian Federation, Alexander Karelina. Representing the United States of America. We're back with the Karelin Gardner match after this. It is set to get underway, and surely it is the most important and. Oh. Hard to believe, Rulon Gardner, 29 years old, of Afton, Wyoming, 
had never earned even a single medal at any significant international competition, a virtual unknown, and now he has beaten the man almost universally regarded as the greatest Greco-Roman wrestler of all time. This is Billy Mills territory, maybe that kind of thing for pure athletic surprise is the more apt comparison. You may know the story of the 1964 Tokyo 10,000 meters race when Mills came from out of nowhere to win the gold with a performance that exceeded anything he had ever done at any other time. Gardner with one of the greatest Olympic upsets of all time at an Olympics that has seen its share of big upsets already. This may be the biggest and we'll hear from Rulon Gardner right after this. The third watch. Back off a guy who's never lost a match internationally. How did you do it? I just, uh, love of God, help me. <laughs> I don't know. I just went out and stayed to what I do, and what I do is just try to be solid. I don't make any mistakes. And I, he gave me the clinch, and he had a great lock, and I switched it. And it's just, I don't know. He, it's just incredible. I, I still can't believe there's no way possible I could beat him, but. Just work hard and work hard and go out and do your destiny and things happen. So God's gift gave me the ability to be here. So did you think coming in that you could knock him off? It's a thought, but you know, it's so far out there. He's been a legend for so long that nobody could knock this guy off. He's on his pedestal and hard work. You can do anything you want. And that's, you know, it's just incredible. I can't believe I actually did it. So well, Henry Kissinger was here. Juan Antonio Samaraj will give you your gold medal. They, I think, thought they were going to give it to the Russian in front of your family and friends. What does this mean to you? Uh, there's no way I can explain it. Just the Lord's given me the ability to be here, and, and there's no way that you know I can share. But this is just so incredible that you know everything's come together at one time, and and I worked hard, and he, you know, made one mistake, and that gave me the match, and. You got to beat everybody here because everybody wants to see a four-time Olympic gold medalist. I just can't believe I beat them. So think about this: you came off a dairy farm in Wyoming, and now you stand the Olympic gold medalist in front of millions. <laughs> How do you feel? I, it's just wow. You know, this this guy's just a legend, and everybody loves him. And, and I, you know, I look up to him. I just can't believe I beat him. He's a person on a pedestal that nobody's ever beat. So now you beat him. It's just like you know, you got to still give him his praise, but. Finally, somebody's knocked him off, and I'm just happy with me. 62 and one now in international competition. Well, that one, he, you know, I had to work for, it, but you know, it just, the, you know, the stars were in line and everything came together. So, congratulations on a wonderful achievement, Roland. Thank you so much. I just, you know, my coaches and everybody back home, everybody has always helped me out along the way, and it, you know, it just came together at one time, and I've been so blessed. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, just before the medal ceremony, our cameras caught Rulon's wife, Stacy, as she reported the news back to the stage. She's speaking on the phone here with her father. That's right, he won. She had to say it several times. Her father was probably saying, stop pulling my... Despite the image, Corellan is an intelligent and cultured man. Devotee of classical music, reads poetry. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem of the United States of America. You wonder what's going through both their minds as they listen to this.
call it a miracle on the mat, no one in the world, probably including Rulon Gardner, could have ever predicted this. This is a bit like Jets over Colts or Buster Douglas over Tyson, Villanova over Georgetown. Astonishing. And here's something you've never seen at the end of an Alexander Karelin match until now, the great Russian needing to be consoled. Wow, how about that? Never thought we'd see it. He was going for four straight, and it appeared to be a mortal lock. Instead, Rulon Gardner takes his name out of the agotype and places it in the headlines.